Ladies and gentlemen, you knew it from the moment it was coming. Day three, the final day of the greenhouse build. Again, I'm rendering these all out in batch, so I have no idea if you guys like the first or even the second episode. I don't know if you're yearning for more or absolutely just want me to get on and finish this thing so I could do other shit. Could be one or the other, but hey, I hope you like it regardless. That's it. I hope you like the three-part series. I love filming it, and you know what? That's all I can say. Enjoy the video. Welcome, everybody, to the third and final day of the Greenhouse Project. I'm yet to name this thing. Probably will have it named by the title by the time I actually post the video. So for right now, just hold back your thoughts on what the title should be. We're doing this right. Welcome to the Greenhouse. And by the way, before anybody gets all up in arms, that was my ass. Sorry about that. I know that I have yet to, like, I've kind of neglected doing the underneath, actually getting everything formed. That's just, I'll, I'll wind up doing that another time, okay? Do you guys really care about that so much? Hopefully you don't. I'm going to go and place this guy down since we don't need it anymore. Select model, one side A, trains transparency, trains transparency, and we're good. If you guys didn't watch last episode, let me give you a little bit of a rundown. We managed to get this thing hooked up perfect with the irrigation system, which is the only other variable that we needed. This guy down there, I need to remove the two others that are not being used. But to get that guy straight at the perfect distance was just so... And the height worked out wonderfully. Everything is perfect because these guys are right inside of the wall. Some of them a little bit more than others, but... Ah, just, it's, it's so good. It's so good. So today, we need to get the crop plots down, figure out what kind of crops we want to grow, get this place wired with electricity. I don't know if it'll have its own electrical generator. And install some lights. Have some fun with that. Maybe even paint some of the... Maybe even paint some... What am I talking about? The floors, the walls, possibly. Well, I don't know if I'd be able to paint this or not. I don't even know if I'm able to paint this stuff. I have I have never tried it, but I am curious. The only thing that I want to see before we continue on is, does this roof look better if the model is no sides? Not no, sorry, not no sides. It needs to be two sides B. So it's like that. I want to see if this looks a little bit better. Model selector, change, and then this one. Does that look fine there? I just want to see what it would look like if I opened it up. Because this transparency isn't... I might need a transparency if I, if I want it to look good at all. Hold on. Let me see. Transparency cycler. Right click on you. Done. And wait now. Oh, I never had it set. Wait, what do you mean? Settings saved right there. Oh, because I cleared it. Let's see what this looks like. And if it looks a little bit off. How's that look? Does that look better? I think that's way too dark. And that's also, oh, we have an inconsistency. Oh, that would have never been shown if I wouldn't have never done this. Oh, no. Why did I do that? It doesn't look too bad. I don't think I do. I like that. No, I don't think I do. I think with the way that this looks with a checkerboard pattern, if this looks just too smooth, it wouldn't. No, that doesn't. Do I like that? Or do I like it the other way? That does look kind of modern, though. It does look modern. It does look modern. This side does look a little noisy. Because the glass is already more transparent than the greenhouse. This side... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what the model selection... Let's do it, uh... Let's see. So two sides... B, would it be? Yeah, there we go. Model index set. Good. Let's try it out here. I don't think this one has any inconsistencies, but I guess we'll find out in a moment. Oh, you know what? This one, this model actually needs to be up against... Oh, shit. I can't go up there. Dang it. Wait, can I set the... I think I can just do it from a distance, right? Model index set, and then model index cleared. There we go. So this needs to be three sides D, is it? That's three sides D. Yeah, this is really weird. Okay, this is really weird. And then that one can be as is, right? I don't know if I'm like... See, I'm going against the grain. I'm going against what I told myself. I was already fine. I was setting saved. Let's take a look at you. Maybe do you have any inconsistencies? I don't think you do. Now, this one doesn't. How does that look? Let's compare the two. This side versus that side. 
I think the transparency needs to be a little bit less, actually. Yeah, transparency, I think, needs to be a little bit less to match. Let's use the transparency at four. So it's like a little bit... No, five, I think. Yeah, I think five. Change transparency. Update five. That's what I'm going to go with. Right-click settings saved. Let's fix that up. We don't want it to be too dark, because then it looks like it's just trying to mirror the floor, and that's not at all what we're going for. Or going floor, I should say. How's that look? Better. That matches. That matches. That's good. So, this side versus this side. Hmm. I think I do like this side better. Yeah, I do. I really do. I gotta get this fixed up, though. The hell happened here? Like, what happened here? The roof is connected at the other end, so I think I should just be able to pick this up without anything breaking. Oh my god, I pooped right when I picked it up. I thought I broke something. I broke my intestines, I guess, but damn. We need to pick both these up, actually, because this needs to be the same as this. How did I mess that up? Like, is that good? That looks normal. Model, was it two sides B? Yeah, two sides B. Is that, that's straight, isn't it? Transparency, 0 0.5, update done. No, what the hell? Let me work with this. Oh yeah, there it is. Look at this sneaking. There's that one, then there's this one. I think that's the one we don't want. As you know, this is the one we do want, right? I think that's the one that we do want because this one is off a little bit. Yeah, this one, see, it's raised up a little bit higher. Yeah, that's the one. So this one needs to be... Oh, shit. No! Come on, man. Okay, and I think because both of these are matching that this one's good. That looks about the same height. Does that look about the same? Now, see, is that raised up a little bit, or am I crazy? I guess we'll find out. I think both these are good. Two sides... B. Yeah, and just like that, see, I don't know yet. That looks like it overlaps right there. Where these match perfectly, but this one doesn't. Why does it not? Why does it not match perfectly? That goes all the way to the wall, but this one, I think, is also more inward. Yeah, see, this one's more inward. It's the same problem. I think I did the wrong way. I did... Okay, thank you for... Okay, well, I think I got this one working. Got on the right one. Update done. Yes, that's seamless. Okay, we got one more to do. Just one more to do. Is that good? I think I might have fixed it. Model, two sides B. Seamless? Looks to be. Change transparency, 0 0.5. Update done. Are you good? Oh, bless. Thank you. Heavens above for that. So now I'm going to do the same thing here while I'm here, because I figure that might be the easiest way. So, let's do you. Select model. Two sides B. As you do. And transparency. Two sides B and transparency. Let's set transparency first. Give it across the entire way to all 20 of you. If this works well, this side, I'm going to be very happy. It's the same headache. At least we know how to fix it this time. I didn't show you guys, but I, I just realigned it differently. There's not much more to it. Model index set. Okay, good. Do it the whole way across here. Do I see an inconsistency? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. All right, we got to keep doing it the whole way and find out if there's another. No more inconsistencies? Seems to be the same deal. Yeah, these two. Wait, no, it's three this time. Oh, okay. It's three this time. That's a bit... Yeah, it's a bit under and to the right. Okay, so we'll have to fix that one. And then same deal with you. I'm assuming there are no inconsistencies with this one. Let's see. Any inconsistencies? Wait. On model. Can't hold the gun out. Right. I remember. Select model. Three sides D. Three sides C. There we go. Any inconsistencies with you? No. We're good. Okay. Just got to get these three down and we're done. Oh, there it is. I found it. Look. Right next to my microphone. With the tiniest little tilt. Wait. It's this way. Watch it. Come on, you had it. You were close. There it is, there it is, right there. See, it's not, it's not underlapped anymore. Very nice. The small, that's why, I, same thing I said, man. When it comes down to making this look real and finished, just a little bit of manipulation. 
That's all you gotta do. So let's see whether or not this one is good to go, as is, or if I need to do the same tedious thing. Select model, two sides B, done. Nope, that one locks in perfectly. Transparency, 0 0.5, update done. And the last one, you gonna make it easy on me? Just right there? Ooh, I am doubting this one, actually. Two sides B, model done, yep. I saw it. I saw it. Just right there, so we gotta do the same thing. Oh, yep, I already saw it. I already changed back. Come on, give it to me again. No, you have- yep, there it is. Right there. That's the one. Does that have a gap, actually? Hold on. Select model. Two sides B. Oh, that has a gap now. Change transparency is 0.5. Is it noticeable, though? Oh, son of a bitch! What do you mean? I might have to do some- oh, you know what? I might have to- wait. Do these have a gap? No, these are fine. Yeah, that's not the issue. So there's an issue with this side going both ways, and I think what needs to happen then is I need to remove this, uh, sloped wall here. Okay, if I remove that, because I think that's what it was anchoring onto, and I think that slope wall might be a little bit off. So right here, with the overlap, yeah, there's- is there three options now? No, 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 that's the one. I think I just found it again. Select model two sides B. Locks on perfectly. Yep, that was the issue. That was the issue, we found it. Update done. Perfect. Seamless, beautiful, wonderful. I'm happy. And the only thing is I hope I don't wind up hating the design choice that I just made. Otherwise, we're, we're, hey, we're stuck with it, man. We're stuck with it. So the whole way around, let's go back down and see how it looks. Well, actually, we could see how it looks from up here. How's it look from up here? Good. Really good. And inside, does it look better? Yes, it does. I like that a lot more. All right, success. Good. Let's get some crop plots down. Two different sizes of crop plots. One's going to be in the middle of where we walk. The others are going to be completely out of the way, so there'll be no need to have any larger sizes. We got 25 large, 12 small. Hopefully this will go around the way that I want it to, and I think that it will. Oh, what the? Did that just... Oh, it took a while to render in, I think, for a second there. So 10 of these guys are going to go along this way. Pretty obvious. All of these should be irrigated. Irrigated the entire way. Yeah, not a problem. All of them are irrigated with water. Greenhouse effect 300%. I'm very happy. Remember, glass, the S plus glass does give you the same effect as greenhouse. So there was no downside to doing that. If anybody was like, that's not going to give you. Yes, it does. Be proven wrong. Now we have the medium ones down here. Because these guys are just in the middle. These should all be irrigated off the same one. Yes, they are. Wonderful. I think placing this was a mistake. Because I don't think that I'm going to have any here. The idea that I had before was going to be to have large ones going around this entire way too. But then you have the issue of, now this one's not easily accessible because it's in a corner. That just doesn't look good. Uh, I, I want it to look very, very good. Functional is great, but I want it to be both. And in practicality of real life as well, if you told someone to like try and get to that crop plot, but these two are in the way, just, uh, I don't like that at all. So, I think we're gonna avoid having these here. I'll, I'll take that down in a moment. But, this is how the setup's gonna be on this side. I think that looks good. Gives you walking room around from here, and it makes these stairs relevant, right? Now, the other thing. Large crop plots are gonna go down right here. I wonder, will you be irrigated? Oh, you are. You are. Okay. That's good. All five are going down right there. I'm very happy that that's in the center enough for this one to be irrigated on the right side. Or it's getting the irrigation from... No, it actually wouldn't be able to reach. On my 30 Days to Die series, I had five in a row. And the farthest one to the right or left, whichever one it was, wasn't irrigated enough because it wasn't dead set in the middle. This one's in the middle enough for them to be irrigated. I'm very happy about that. Let's go ahead and place the last 10 down over here. And let's place the last three medium ones down where they need to go. Okay, one, two, and three. Now, let's have a discussion. I originally wanted there to be more crop plots right here. That's why I've got this one as is ready to go. However, I might have a different plan of action because we want this greenhouse to be functional as possible. The most functional it can be. And I also want to clear out this area of 
I've got just too many dinosaurs here. It's annoying. It doesn't give me enough room to roam. We're already going to be getting rid of this, which is really nice. But soon enough, we're going to have industrial forges, etc., etc., cluttering up this place. So we need a lot of space. The snow owls, while great, only serve the purpose of dropping pellets down for me to put them in here and have that be it. I've got fiber in here for some reason. Not sure why. But that's no longer needed because this guy, the gotcha, picks up the fertilizer already. Now, I haven't utilized the gotcha's resource harvesting just yet. I likely will soon, but I'm not interested in doing it right now. My dream would be, and what I'm going to do, is I'm going to move all six of these guys and the gotcha into the greenhouse. They're going to be my fertilizer producers just right up there. And I'm going to try and figure out a way to get the gotcha dead set in the middle and have it so all six of these guys will have their pebble picked up by the gotcha. Hopefully we won't only need four because I might have to send two of these guys on their way or give them as gifts. Not sure, but I, I'd like to keep six. I don't want to give up any of my snow owls. And then I have my really good snow owl slushy that's not part... Slushy's not a factory component, okay? These guys as... Mm, it's very bad to say, but they are factory components. They are... Still doing me a great deal of work, and I'm going to give them some love from time to time, but I just don't need them that much, you understand. So to be able to get the gotcha in, I think I'm going to need to place down... Thankfully, oh my god, I have some already. Oh, I love that. Let's take a look at how this is going to go. Where is my... Where's my Tapajara? My Tapajara here and I'm blind? Don't know where my Tapajara... Oh, just out here. What the hell are you doing out here? Was there someone pissing somebody off? Doesn't matter. What we're going to have to do, if I have the foundational support to do it, is stretch this out here. Yeah, I need foundational support for that. Okay, thankfully I've got an idea of how this will work. Because I'm pretty sure this foundational support is on the same plane. And I've got a few foundations right here as is. So if I place down these foundations next to each other like this, just straight out there, I think I can continue placing these down. At least I think. I don't think I have enough foundations to do it entirely, but... What I might be able to do... Because uh, we just need to get the gotcha in here, but the gotcha can't fly. Requires nearby foundation support. You're not going to let me do it like that? Or do you work... No, those aren't on the same foundational plane. Um, I might be overcomplicating this. I can just build a ramp up. Yeah, I can just build a ramp. A couple of ramps. Might as well break a stone. We don't need it. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, about that. I'm going to break this down, too, just so we can get a little bit of metal back. I had it down there originally for the uh, tech teleporter, which we do need to make as well, too. I don't know if I'll have two or four of those. Might have four, so we have two teleporter locations, but I'll see. Okay, I think I've got a pretty simple little solution here. Just placing down the couple of ramps that I had spare. I Thankfully, I've got a couple of sloped roofs and sloped ramps. Although, I think it looks like ramps are going to be the only thing I can actually use to get up here. Yeah, you're not going to let me use ramps, are you? Do I have a ramp right here? That's a wood ramp. Okay, I've got one of you. The gotcha should be able to get on top of that, and I just need one more, unless the slope roof would work. But it won't. Of course it won't. Of course it won't. Uh, can I make a ramp? I think I should be able to make a couple of these guys, right? Wood ramp. One, two. That's all I need. All right. So, we got to wait for our gotcha to get up here. Thankfully, this thing's big enough for the gacha to not take up the entire space. That's something I'm really happy about. The gacha, although is a larger dinosaur, won't take up the entire room. In fact, you know, like I said, because the room's so big, it should be pretty small, actually. Yeah, this guy's not the biggest. Yeah, it's really not the biggest. In fact, the door actually helped me uh, move out a little bit there. You can see in the top right-hand corner, too, this dude is slot-encumbered. Slacumbered. I don't know what the... I don't know why there's no indication or why there's no, like, little note that says that he's fully encumbered right now. Because he can't accept any more items. But there we go. What's up, champ? How you doing, man? Alright. So you are gonna be picking up all of the snow owl stuff. I should have room for all the snow owls in here. It might get a little cramped, but if you're just right down the middle like this... Yeah, if you're just right down the middle, like, right about there... How much does that take up? Oh, nothing at all. No, dude, you're you're not fat. You're not fat at all. What do you mean? You're not fat. What are you talking about? 
Let me actually move you over a little bit to the right. Just scoot you over. This guy's not going to be moving at all. He'll be neutral. Or he'll be passive. So, let's see. Okay, are you straight now? Yeah, it's about straight. Okay, let's bring you your friends. So now we do a little bit of demo time, which is always fun. Get some... Actually, I don't even want any of this. I don't want any of this. But I'm going to get it, unfortunately. A lot of thatch, a lot of fiber. Destruction time! Made sure I did not hit any of that, thank god. Alright, that's all good. Now I just gotta fly snow owls over. I'm gonna use the same mechanic that I used on them when I was training them. Oh no, the leash! Ah, I gotta disable the leash. Stay where you are. Actually, continue following me, that's fine. Don't drop on the ground though. I have to disable the leash and they're all perfect where they are. Oh no, they're following the- Oh, thank god. Alright, good. And they should move now. Okay, a little annoying that they kept moving, but I'd pick that over them getting stuck where we are. Very nice. What's up, guys? Oh, you are fluttering. Holy hell. It looks like my frame rate's dipping, but it's not really. Okay. We're gonna go on a little wrap around here. And... Quick dive in. As long as they get inside, we're good. Y'all good? What's up, everybody? Hey, this place is becoming a little bit more lively. So, Al, are you good? Y'all gonna sit down? Okay, you might have to... Alright. So let's see how we can get these guys lined up where they'll all produce and this guy will be able to pick up what they drop. I think just a little circle like this should be fine. Seems like they're all just chilling up in the sky right now, which is a little crazy, but this might just work. I'm loving what I'm doing with this. That's equip saddle to ride. Where's the one I equipped the saddle to? Is it this one right here? Yeah, it's this one. Stuck in the middle of everybody. Okay. Now you, I think... God, I wish these guys would move a little bit. I wish... I wish these dinos could read my mind. Why can't they read my mind, man? You're gonna go right... Nope. Oh, stupid glitch. I was a little bit further than it said I was. Oh, come on. Not the time to be... Not the time to be lagging. Don't be lagging on me right now. You good? That's good. I like that a lot. Okay. Okay. Two down, four to go, and I get the saddle on this far guy, yes we can, that wasn't the guy, never mind, <laughs> I thought it was on a guy, but it wasn't, okay, and you, do you want to get a little closer actually, because these do take up a good amount of the, the travel, yeah, their, their hitboxes take up a little bit here, I don't know if I like that or not, but as long as they're not taking, hmm, -mm. Gonna move this guy, this middle guy, inward a little bit. The hitboxes on Snow Owls, I don't know what they did to him. Look at this. It's terrible. They, this is the hitbox. They did a terrible job modeling. Like, look at this little, like, jagged here. I'm trying to move forward, but I can't. There's, like, a little edge. I wish there was a way for you to be able to see the hitbox shape because, God, what a horrendous job. There's a lot about Ark that I could complain about. But this is just an open one that I... I hate. If they poop an egg right there, I can't even get it. Okay, well, I can sometimes, but if there's two owls next to each other, or three rather, and I'm trying to get the egg from the middle one, I can't get the egg. It's weird. I don't know why it's like that, but for some reason, it is. So let's see. How are you in the middle of... Okay. All right. That looks about fine. We can straighten these guys out in a little bit. This won't be too noisy, and I'm happy about that. As soon as these guys all get off the... out of the sky, this will seem like a lot less of a cluster. Yeah, I just have that one more floating up there. Alright, you are gonna be looking straight as you do. Excellent. Now we just need the last one to fit into the corner. What's up, buddy? This is for you! Come on! There we go. Oh, beautiful. That is already so much easier. I could move these guys up a little bit more, actually, but eh, I'll worry about that another time. Getting these guys exact. How's that? I think that's good. So let me pick you up. I know you were already straight. But just to make sure. Right about there, good? I think right about there is good. Hi, guys. So you all in the middle? Just about, it looks like. Yeah? I'd say it's about in the middle. The gotcha could be moved over. Oh, never mind. It's not. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, we got to back them up a little bit. Yeah, because these guys are a little... Right. 
let me do this. Do my check to make sure they're all on passive. Nothing will come in here and bother them, so I don't have to worry about them not being on neutral. They're all good, so they won't be moving from this spot. They look about straight. I mean, eh, fine enough right now. I know these guys are a little bit in a different orientation, but uh, looking at, don't look at the feet. Don't look at the feet, okay? The gotcha's in the middle. This guy will pick up any bit of poop that any of these guys drop out. Please demonstrate that for me. Thank you. Good, 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 good. So with that, I'll show you guys the most perfect thing in the world. All right. Gotcha. Wait, no, it's not Pebble. What is it? Sorry, I forgot. Snow Owl. What is it? Snow Owl Pellets, not Pebble. Pellets. To large crop plot and medium crop plot. Transfer and close. 300. Each of these guys, 50,000 fertilizer distributed evenly. That's infinite fertilizer that lasts a long time. I pretty much come over and do that once a day, and all the crops can grow forever. And just like that, that's all we need. So wonderful, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So I think we're going to remove this. Because we don't need it. We could always keep these, but again, we don't need it. We could put down some crops here, but we don't need them. We've got more than enough crops, and I like the even distribution of 50,000. That's really nice. The 300 as well. So we'll pick up you. Pick up metal pipe. Wonderful. And now we go over to you, or any of them. High connected pipes. And just like that, it looks like everything's good to go. These guys as well. I'm going to go and pick up. I know we have a, a intersection one there, but it doesn't matter if it's not shown. Putting, like, replacing it right now. It doesn't matter. They're all good. All of them are irrigated. Set up with water. The place is done and functional. We have an infinite supply of this. We don't have to do anything except just once a day come over and distribute it, and it takes a couple seconds. In fact, if I really wanted to, what I can do is click Gotcha, click Snow Owl Pellets, and then Large and Medium Crop Plot, right-click to save it to five. So now whenever we need to, we just click here, five, transfer, close, and that's all of it distributed for an entire day or two. I don't know how long 50,000 lasts, but I think for a pretty damn good time. That's it, and we got an egg. Once again can't pick the damn thing up now we can okay i have to go in from the middle right there got it it's looking good so next thing we need to do let's get the crops down let's figure out what we're gonna do first things first we have 41 mesia berry seeds and 31 narco berry seeds those are gonna be the bigger ones for me azul berries tinto berries all that sort of stuff not really a concern now the savarut citronol raw carrot and long grass. Now we've got a few more seeds, I think, in here, don't we? Yeah, we have one spare, and I believe that's, uh, no, it's the same one. I thought the texture looked different, but it's the same thing. So these guys, freak me out. These guys are all done. We're good to go. We've had these going for about five or six days, and we have 1,400 of every vegetable. It's disgusting. And we have a lot of fertilizer in here, too, but th these guys are done. That's it. It's game over. There's no need for him anymore. The other thing that could also be nice is... Uh, I don't believe I have any. Specimen implant. Yeah, no. Plant species Y and X will be something that we'll eventually start setting up too. We don't really need it because what's the point of having plant species Y or X when there's, you know, no real threats? Just not something that we ever really need to focus on. I'll keep a snow owl saddle. Actually, I forgot. I need to put snow owl saddle back on slushy. Because I only got one. There you are. And there you are. Excellent. You can take some wood as well, too. And you can carry an egg around. Why not? Oh, you could also carry this around. My, I need to organize where everything is, but that's another time. Don't worry. Organization is something, if you guys are new to my channel, not very good about it. You know, not very good about it, but that's okay. Let's set these guys up. Narco berries are the biggest thing. Tameables, etc. Those are the biggest thing for us. So I think what we're going to do is we already have so many vegetables. We have so many vegetables. It's, it's a joke at this stage. Wait a minute. Water tap. 
Why is this one not going? What? Why is water tab not going? Not irrigated. Wait, why is this water tab not going? Did I take the... Wait. Show connected pipes. The hell? Why are you not going? Pick up metal water tap. Is it because you're stuck in the... Wait. Oh, what the hell? Oh, Jesus. No, no, no. Come back here. Pick up metal water tap. Wasn't it just irrigated a second ago? The hell happened there? What, did you dry up out of water? Is it because I took this thing down? I need to take this one down as well, too. Right. Pick up metal water tap. Are you fine? Yeah, you're good. And pick up metal water tap from here. Okay. Are you irrigated as well, too? All y'all irrigated. You got the water pouring out now. You irrigate on this side. You are. And this side, you are. Don't know what the hell that's about. High connected pipes. Okay. We're good. Doesn't matter. And we have a nice strand on above us. So we got to think of how we're going to distribute this. We could... Oh, you know what? I've got a perfect way to distribute it. Yeah. This will look good. Okay. The first seed. Let's do long grass on this one. So that's the long grass seed. Yeah, because we have four, and there's four types of vegetables. This is going to be wonderful. All right. Long grass is right there. Three of those. Raw carrot or raw carrot, however the... I don't know how you pronounce it. Does it really matter? Maybe it might to some. Raw carrots can go over there. On this side, we can do the citronels. A little bit of knowledge for you guys to drop down. The small, medium, and large size of the plots don't affect how much you get. They don't affect it at all. The reason why there's different sizes... I think I've got them all good. The reason why there's different sizes of crop plots is the small crop plots only allow you to plant berries. Azul berries, mijo berries, darker berries, etc. The medium crop plots allow you to plant vegetables. The large crop plots allow you to plant plant species X and Y, etc. I just go with larger ones because I think they look better. So these guys are already good to go. I am going... This is going to be a little insane. But I'm going to put down... I think I can do this a lot easier, correct? Let's see. Narcoberry seed. Personal inventory to large crop plot. 31 items transferred. It removed 31. Yes, excellent. Right? That's going to work. Excellent. Great. But we're not... Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a second. I might have messed up a little bit. Hold on, it's the Jiffy. Because I wanted it to go to these 20, but these are going to be Mijo Berries. So if I pick this up... Okay, easy enough, easy enough. Got it. Just got to place them back down and redo it. I thought I could get off a little scot-free, but that's all right. Fine by me. I don't mind. So it was eight to each. Okay, it was eight snow pellets each. These are going to be Mijo Berries. I will look in real quick before I finalize this, like leave you guys on the episode... Just to make sure there's nothing else I should be planting that's really useful. Because these are the most useful ones. Mutual berries for taming, vegetables for whatever, and a ton of narcotics. Because I don't know... Or narco berries. Because I don't know how often or how many narco berries you get. But I think we should still be fine. So mutual berry seed is going to go there. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Same with you. Probably should have waited to do the uh, snow pellets, huh? Yeah, because this is going to be a little off. I don't think having them all in the same timing is really that important because that's yeah, just not that big of a deal. All right, measure berries one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Measure berry one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. And measure berry snow. Oh, don't do it slower. God damn it. I wanted it to be faster. It was going to be all slick and shit. Okay. We got the measure berries here. These all have the greenhouse effect. Narco berries are all along the sides. Every vegetable is on the inside. Now to check and make sure there's nothing else that I could put down. No, we're good. Unless I wanted to grow any berries, which I don't find the need for. That's it. We're done with the uh, crop plots. Everybody's happy. Everybody's good. <laughs> they actually go out of render. That's pretty cute. Do they? Yeah, the little... Oh, that's interesting. You can see that it's like really sharp and green right there until I go a little bit closer. It turns to darker green. Funny. That's it. It's functional. It's good. We're happy. So the next thing we got to do is get the teleporters down so I can actually get up here without having to fly because that's a little bit annoying. We don't have a way to get up like a ladder, but as long as I've got teleporters, it should be fine. Now that comes down to how much element I, I have. I think I've got... Don't I have some element? down here 
How much do I have? I've got four element already, which means I've got enough for one teleporter. Now, there is no middle. Wait, no, there is a middle. Wait. No, never mind. There is a middle. Oh. Do I want one teleporter just right in the middle? Because that could work. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Might as well want one in the middle. Okay. Let's, uh, let's make some teleporters then. I should have all the materials that I need to be able to do it, right? Tech teleporter. Tech teleporter. Wait. Oh, it's a tech... Sorry, it's not a teleporter. It's an elevator. My bad, my bad. Oh, it needs three elements. Oh, I thought it only needed two. That's the bridge. It only needs two. Okay, I gotta get two more. I gotta get two more. Cat six. Not you. You're the wrong thing. RG. Where's my RG? My RG is gone. I've lost my Argentavis. Wherever my Argentavis is, I need to go out and get 2,000 more element dust. I seem to have misplaced my Argentavis, because my Argentavis is not around here. How on bloody earth did I manage to do that? I think I know where it might be. No, it's not over here where the crystal was. I guess in hindsight it doesn't make any sense, because how the hell would I have gotten home? Last I remember, my Argentavis... That ain't my RG. What level are you? Flying around here, looking all RG-like. The hell would my Argentavis have gone? I think I've got one more... I no, wait, what? I brought my Argentavis over just like a little bit ago because I had a bunch of wood that I had collected. Yeah, no, it's not over here. Did my Argentavis die? No, that's all just me. No. Yeah, your forcer was killed. That was a while ago. No. The hell did my Argentavis go? I want to recreate this because I really love how this turned out. Was a bit annoying to get everything good because the way the ramps are and just... Eh, God, it was not the most fun thing to do. Can you hang in there for a second? Don't mind me. I'm just doing it the, the the fun way. The way that I like. You know. Some people have their ways. I've got my own. And uh, this is my way. Piss off, buddy! You alright? Good. Good. <laughs> anyway. I, I would like to create a second one of those because... I love this guy so much. I'd like to create a second one of those because it looks good. And I'm thinking with the, the way we want to do it... I mean, I don't think it'll be right in the center because that might look a little bit odd. But we just got to find a good placement point for it. Have the elements already expired yet? Not quite, but I can get at least one of them built up. Tech. Okay. What do you require? 150 metal, 120 crystal, 125 polymer. Do I have enough for two of you? God, I hope that I do. Please, I might have one more. Yes, I do. Excellent. Okay. Great. All we need is one more unstable element right now to spoil in 20 seconds. So that's going to need a few things of metal. It just comes down to where I feel like placing it. Like we, the thing is, it would be really nice to place it right there where the walkway is. But then I've got the snow owls and everything kind of like close. I might have to move those guys back a bit more so I have room for the teleporter up front. Yeah, that might be what I have to do. Because here, let me show you. So, tech. Oh, it's already in the middle of... Oh my god, I forgot it takes that long to make one. Oh, jeez, I forgot these guys are even slower than the the element themselves. Not all tech is like... Oh, I guess it's like this because it's not a tech replicator. It's the S plus mod. I mean, that's probably their way of balancing it out. At least you'd assume. Because holy crud, that can take a hot minute. So take it with the electrical. All right, we need to get the electrical over there. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We likely want to have it work off the same generator. We're just going to need a bunch of cables. And in all honesty, I might just have the cables, like, fly over. I don't really care about how cables are managed, because, you know, it, it doesn't really affect me all that much. Yeah, maybe... Okay, so let's get some cables built up as well, too. I'll probably do it in here, because the other one is busy crafting something else. Cable. Wait, no. Cable. Electrical cable. Fabricator. Right, I knew that, I knew that, I knew that. Electrical, yeah, no, it makes a lot of sense. Okay, so cable. We need straight electrical cable... Two metal ingots. How many of these are we going to need? I'm going to say 40. 
Missing metal ingots. We have enough for 10. I really need more metal. Really? Do I not have any in here? I guess I spent the last bit of metal getting the last few structures there. Especially because there's also metal in here being used to make both the tech elevators. Well, tell you what. Let's go see exactly where we're going to put this guy even. Yeah, let's see where we're going to put this guy. Also, I want to find out, can I reach into the greenhouse with this guy? I should be able to. The greenhouse isn't that high up. I think I can even do it with a jump right here. Tell me. Beautiful. I love it. Okay, where do we want this thing? Because if we have the walkway right here... Because the tech teleporter... Okay, that's the middle right there. Would we want the teleporter, like, right here? Because that's a bit noisy. We can have the teleporter be... Here? Actually, this is a really nice spot. Kind of the same way I have the other one, where it's, like, front... It's on the top right. This would be a good spot for a teleporter. Okay. Well, what we need to do is remove this then. Pick up glass foundation. And that teleporter goes right there. I love the way that looks. It is a little funky too with the texture under the ground. Well, that's all right. So this is going to be directly... That's a bit annoying though. Hmm. I might have thought this wrong. Because that's where I'd like it to be up here. That's where I think it looks the best. Would it look better right in the center? Just smack dab in the middle? It might look better just smack dab in the middle. I know that's a bit odd for it to be that symmetrical, but... It might just look better that way. Let's see. If I could stop picking everything in my inventory, that'd be nice. Just right in the center? Um... I don't know, because... The thing about that... Is the teleporter... Okay, so the teleporter is right there, which means it would have to be right here. The beauty, because this is where the gate will go, coming down here and having the teleporter be right here. That looks nice, but that doesn't work. So having the teleporter be in the center, that also doesn't work. It's not going to look all that good, especially with the walkway. Not really feeling that. Having a teleporter be right here. This is really annoying. Underneath there was a little annoying, but this whole structure is very annoying. Because maybe a teleporter would look good. Yeah, maybe it would look good right here off the waterfall. That might be where it needs to go. Off the waterfall right there. Or on this side going up like this. I don't think down there is going to work. No. Nah. So how would that work? Holy shit. <laughs> you really did that jump. The tech teleporter would go right there. No, but I want it. Am I going to have to move these guys back for the teleporter? Let me figure it out. Made in my mind. Don't want to hear nothing about it. It's going right here. It's going to be smack dab in the middle. Just like that. It's the way you get up. It's the way you get back down. Easy enough. With the way it's all symmetrical. I think that'll be nice. And another thing that you could do, which I didn't know, but this is really cool. You now should make it opaque. Looks a little funky. Kind of looks like, uh, I don't know. You know those, the, like, the carpets? Like, the kids play, the, like, playrooms or whatever? The, like, daycare centers? Like, really colorful, whatever? Kind of looks like that. Or my, I don't like it. So that looks a lot better, I think. So we'll have the one going underneath there, and we'll just build it off of this, which should be perfectly fine. Now, the only thing is we got to move all these guys back, which is not the biggest deal. Thankfully, they're not structures. They're permanent. I think I just called... I think I did call them structures at one point, though, so I feel a little bad now. But let's see. Are you centered? As long as you're centered, everybody's happy. Eh, close enough. Move these guys back. Organize them up a little better. I think they're looking good. Doesn't block off too much or really anything at all. The only blocking I have is from this guy kind of maneuvering around, but... Yeah, tails, you can still walk around the edges perfectly fine, so it's not a hassle. And teleport straight in the middle brings you right to everybody. They're just say hello, which is <laughs> kind of creepy, but still, you know, you understand. So, what we need to do next is we need to make a couple of foundations for placeholders, and then we need to get a glass foundation, and then the teleporter off behind it and a couple of ramps 
So here's everything we're going to need. Well, actually, do I have the teleporter on me? I don't have a teleporter on me. I think it's right in here. Yes, it is. Tech teleporter. Okay, so we need a uh, crafting inventory. I already made some cables. I don't think I have enough metal for everything. Shit. Foundation it needs to be a glass one so it can be transparent entirely. Not a metal ingot for it. God dang it. Hmm. I might have to do a thatch foundation for right now, but that's fine. Just a quick thatch foundation. Just real fast to make it easy. Yeah. And then a couple of ramps by chance. Just like two stone ones, I guess, would be fine. Two stone ones should be all right. That should be good, hopefully. And then do I have any more foundations or any foundations at all that I can use? Let's find. Because I know that I... I, I think I've got some thatch ones. Yeah, I've got a few. How many do I have? One. Oh, no, I've only got one. Oh, it's the one I just made. Right, I, I broke all the others, and I think my RG had the remaining ones. Okay, I'll go ahead and make three more of those guys so we can get it all down. Because it needs to be on the same foundational plane, as always. I think I'm going to hold off on getting the place fitted with electricity for right now. It's not too high on my priority list. But let's see how easily I can do this here. Hopefully it won't take too much out of me to get this done. Because if it's from the back here, that should make making an entryway really simple. So that's where... Okay. The foundation needs to go right there. Down, down, and down. And then we simply pick up the foundations as we go. We don't double click because that'll break a lot more things than we need. One, two, three. Should this be going all the way to the ground? Maybe, but also maybe it doesn't need to. Because that's down right there. We need the teleporter to be right about... Where do we want it? Because that's where it needs to go. The teleporter needs to be... You need to walk up to it. Especially from up here. So it needs to be one up higher. Right. So we'll remove you and place you down right there. And the tech teleporter will be right there. Gonna be a relatively simple little pathway up, but that shouldn't matter. And then a ramp from right there. And the ramp can go down. Requires nearby foundation support. That's what I figured. So we're gonna remove the... Because they weren't connected. But you're telling me that in 30 days to die. I had an entire greenhouse being supported by foundations that weren't even connected to each other. It's three element, 150 minutes. That's three element I'm not going to get back. Oh! Can I send the episode and have it be a good one? Like, can I end on tilt because I don't want to go and collect 3,000 more dust right now? Especially because I don't know where my Argentavis is, so I can't use my Anklio, and I have to go take my Enforcer out, and my Enforcer only gathers about 20 element every time, so it would take a year and a half. We've done what we need to. The crops are good. Everything's fine. Off camera, I'm going to give this the same treatment that I gave the one that you guys can't see. I'm going to get it all tatted up with some lights, I'm going to get it all metalized, make it look nice. It's just a lot of tediousness I don't want to take time into right now. But you know how it'll look. You know how I've got everything. You put the foundation right there, a little walkway up to it. And from either down here or up here, it might be a little awkward. I'll probably wind up putting down a floor right here just so it it's not like on this little weird edge. It'll look a little bit nicer. And we could also do r walkways up from the sides as well. So if I'm coming in, say, from over here... I don't need to go all the way up and around to get inside. I can just climb up that way. That's probably how we'll do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. We're ending off. Of course, we're ending off this giant, ridiculous build on a tilt now, right? Overall, we never wound up making the bottom look less kind of floaty. But that's just materials I don't want to spend right now. I have to bear respects to that Tyranodon getting bit by a Titan Boa. Now I have to bear respects to the Titan Boa not being able to eat dinner because the Tyranodon can fly. There you go, Tyranodon. Goodbye. Well done, soldier. We did a great job. You and I, we did a great job. Us three. Three episodes that I think we did pretty damn well. Hope you guys enjoyed. If there's any changes you'd like me to make to this, please let me know. But apart from that, thank you all for sticking around on this journey for me. We'll catch you back tomorrow.
for different content. See ya!